In today's video, we're going to discuss how to add, delete, and modify schedules with an OmniLogic. First thing we're going to do is get to our schedules menu. To do that, we're going to wake up the screen by clicking on it. We're going to select the body of water that we would like to edit the schedule in. We're going to select pool. We're going to select filter pump. And we're going to select the schedule icon. Now that our schedules menu is open, we want to click the plus sign to get into our editing a schedule. We have our start time, our end time, the days of the week that we would like to repeat this schedule, and the speed that we would like the schedule to run for. Let's go ahead and create our first schedule. To do that, we want to click the start and end tab. Let's go ahead and edit the start time. In order to do that, we're going to tap the screen and that's going to bring us to our hours and minutes of our start time. If it's already pre-populated, we need to press the back arrow to delete before putting something new in. We're going to set this for 8.30. And once that start time has been selected, go ahead and press the check mark. Once you're done inputting your start time, make sure to select AM or PM before continuing to the end time. Let's go ahead and edit the end time. Go ahead and click the screen and then select the time and that'll get us into edit our hours and minutes. We'll go ahead and change this one to six and then we'll change that to PM. Now that we finished inputting our end time, we're going to go ahead and select repeat on the right side of the screen. And this will allow us to either select weekdays, weekends, all week, or we could actually do a custom and have it run whatever day of the week we would like. For this example, we're going to go ahead and select all week and continue to speed. After we select speed, we have the option to have the pump run at low speed, medium speed, high speed, or we could actually select a custom speed. For this example, I might select custom, and I'm going to go ahead and drag the bar to close to 2500 RPM. Once that's selected, I'm gonna press the check mark to save, and we're going to save our, our schedule by pressing check mark. In this segment, we're going to show you how to modify schedules. For examples, I've already preloaded three examples for us to play with. To modify an existing schedule, all you want to do is go ahead and click on the schedule you want to modify. Go ahead and change whatever you'd like to change, whether it be the start time, end time, the days you want the schedule to repeat, or the speed. For this example, we'll go ahead and change the speed, and I'm going to select low speed, hit check mark to save, and that saves the schedule. Now I'd like to show you how to enable or disable existing schedules. You need to tap the on and off icon on the top right hand corner. And then whatever schedule you would like to disable, just go ahead and tap on the slider and turn it to the off position and it'll save automatically. Once you're done, you could hit the trash can to return back to normal scheduling. Now if you want to delete an existing schedule, all you do is hit the trash can it's going to ask you, are you sure you would want to delete the schedule? Click the check mark and the schedule is deleted.